All right then, so now we're going to look at starting a vocabulary notebook. I'm doing this video because it's very important to develop your vocabulary. One of the key points about getting a high score in IELTS is using a wider range of vocabulary than the average person. So you need to work on your vocabulary and preparing and creating a vocabulary notebook is um, one of the best ways to do it. So this is what we will cover um, now in this session. Firstly, I'll talk about the importance of increasing your vocabulary. We'll learn about what you need to know about words um, so you can use them well and accurately. And then we'll look at how to use the IELTS Breakthrough Vocabulary Notebook. And this is a notebook that allows you to record and store all of the information you need to know about vocabulary. There are templates there. All you need to do is download the notebook, print it out, and you have your vocabulary notebook completely free, of course. Okay, so let's look at why. Why do you need to increase your vocabulary? Well, I already said that um, knowledge of vocabulary is a very important um, factor in getting a high score in the IELTS. And that's probably one of the most important reasons. So words, of course, equal power in terms of communication. And the more words you know, the better you can communicate and express yourself. And of course, if you use the right words, you can have more influence and control over situations. As I said earlier, it's one of the easy ways to score high. Um, there is no secret about this, and simply um, actively studying vocabulary is definitely going to increase your score. And finally, you become more intelligent, because of course, uh, knowledge is based on words. So the more words you know, the more knowledge you'll get, and you can increase your general intelligence. Okay, so um, hopefully I have convinced you and motivated you to become interested to develop and increase your vocabulary. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is um, what you need to know about words. So there are basically three key points related to learning vocabulary. Um, the first one, of course, is you need to understand what a word or a phrase means. You need to understand the pronunciation, that is, how to say that word or phrase. And then you need to understand the grammar, which really is how the word is used. When we talk about grammar, I mean I'm talking about using the word in a sentence accurately. So that means understanding if its um, place in the sentence is as a verb or a noun or an adjective. So um, what I'll do now is I'll look at meaning in a little bit more detail. So when you're um, getting the meaning, um, you can do a translation and um, write the word in your own language. Of course, some English words have um, very close or direct translations to your own language, um, but sometimes they don't. So translation on itself is not the only solution to understanding the meaning of new words. Um, you, it's also a good idea to have an example sentence because example sentences give you an idea about the context and the situations where those words can be used. And yeah, more information about the topic or context for example, some words have strong meanings, some words have weak meanings. So it's useful to know about that kind of um, background information about the words. Okay, that's meaning. Let's talk about pronunciation now. 
So for pronunciation, you need word stress. And if I take the title, you can see that pronunciation, you have um, the word is, is stressed in different places. So you have the none and the a pronunciation like that. So you, different words are stressed in different places. And then there is the individual sounds of the words. Let's look at another example. So here we have the word obsequious, which means to be very polite. And um, you've got the sounds, obsequious, um, to uh, the different sounds there. And then you have the stress, obsequious, where the stress is on the C. So the combination of sounds and stress work to give you the, uh, the accurate pronunciation there. Okay, the third thing then is about grammar. Um, as I said, you need to know whether the word is a noun, a verb, or an adjective. It's also useful to know about word building, um, whether you, you can make um, words up using the prefixes and suffixes. So a typical example of that is um, economic, where you have uneconomic, economize, and so on. Um, different suffixes and different prefixes create new words and also change them from nouns to verbs or from verbs to adjectives or whatever. Um, you also need to know the form. For example, with verbs, you need to know whether they are regular or irregular verbs and you need to know whether what the singular and the plural forms are of the nouns as well. Now, this kind of information is given in, an, in the dictionary. So once you look up the word in the dictionary, you can check all of this stuff out. Okay, let's look at how um, the IELTS Breakthrough is go can help you to record and understand words. So here's another example then. Um, let's take the um, example of the word circumspect. So um, you can see I've given different structures, uh, different um, structures and information about this word. So we have the meaning, which means doubtful or something that is not completely true. You can see there is a note about the form, circumspect is an adjective. Then you have the pronunciation. I've written it here using what we call phonemic script, which is writing words how you say them. You could also use your own kind of um, code for this kind of thing. So you can see in brackets, I've written a kind of code word which tells you how, how the word is actually said in terms of the sounds of that word rather than spelling. And then at the end, we have an example sentence. And once again, for your example sentence, um, you can use perhaps the example sentence where you found the word. Most of the, the new vocabulary you, you will meet will come up through your reading. So for the example sentence, all you need to do is simply highlight the sentence where the word is, copy it down into your vocabulary notebook, and you have an example of how the word is used in context. So that's um, an example of what you should note down when you actually find um, some new vocabulary. Now, this next slide is um, the vocabulary sheet, and this is um, what you can download from IELTS Breakthrough. So you can see that I've just divided it into these different categories. In the top corner, the top left corner, um, you've got the letters. So of course, circumspect begins with C, so it goes under C. Then you have the meaning, then you have um, the pronunciation, then you have a translation, which I've left blank, of course, here. Um, simply write it in yourself what you think what the translation is. 
And then there's a little checklist for grammar. So adj means adjective. And then for verb, you've got regular or irregular. So you can tick one box, R on the left, if it is regular, and on the right, if it is irregular. And then noun, and then there's another one for other, if it's another type of um, grammatical form. And then, of course, you can have the example sentence right at the end. So this little box is... Um, it helps you to record all of the information that you need and it's all in one place and easy to see. So this is um, how the vocabulary um, notebook works. As I say, you can simply download this vocabulary notebook. It's completely free and part of our service here. So finally, just a few tips about your notebook is um, make sure that when you've prepared your vocabulary notebook, it is ready when you are reading. Because of course, one of the things about reading is to capture new vocabulary. And if you don't have your book ready, of course, you're not going to write down those words. And if you don't write it down, you probably won't learn that new vocabulary. Another thing to do is to make a target, set a target of how many words you want to learn. Now, I would suggest about five words every day will be about fine. You don't want to learn many more than five words because actually, as I've just covered, there's quite a lot of information about each word that you need to know. So with five words, that's quite a lot of stuff that you're learning. And then, of course, you need to review your new vocabulary regularly. Even if you um, do very well and you capture vocabulary, you write it down in your notebook, you complete all the details about the pronunciation and the meaning and the translation and everything like that, if you don't go back and review those new words, you're simply not going to remember them. So you need to set regular um, times when you simply sit down and refresh your memory and learn about those new um, words that you are using. Then once you've done that, you'll be ready to go and you'll be certainly well on your way to getting that high score in IELTS. Okay, so that's what I want to tell you about the vocabulary notebook. All you have to do now is um, download the PDF file and enjoy the results.